Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another Tool Tuesdays here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Today we're going to be talking all about lube. So this is the lube video. We've got all the tools that we use here on the farm to keep our machinery lubricated and moving and not breaking. So we're going to show you the tools that we use and we're going to do a little bit of a comparison between a manual type grease gun, a small grease gun, a oil gun, and we're going to do a quick review and overview of the 20 volt DeWalt powered grease gun. So come along today as we show you these tools and we'll talk a little bit about my opinion and you can share your opinion as to whether you think it's worth it to go on and get yourself a powered grease gun for your farm, your property, or your shop. All right? Woo! So as I said before, this video is about lube and it is a topic that really doesn't get touched on a whole lot with other farm channels, other homesteading channels, even the channels that have great big farms. They don't discuss a whole lot about how much lubrication they have to do. So every four to eight hours or so, I'm greasing barrens, I'm greasing chains, I'm constantly greasing something here on the farm whenever I'm working with a piece of equipment and it's something important to address. So what we have here are all all the lubrication devices that we use here on the farm and I got a towel here to show you this is what we use for lubricating chains it's just a little pump lubricator we have a grease gun here that has the side pump type handle okay so the squeeze grip type handle and we have a grease gun here with an elbow on the tip and it has the pump type handle so different applications for different situations like the Ventrac tractor has an articulating center it requires that I get in here with this little elbow and lubricate that very center joint so it's all about ease of access and the tools that you're going to need here on the farm now what we're really here to do is review and show you guys whether it's worth it to buy a $140 grease gun now it's kind of up to you as to what you think whether it's worth spending 140 bucks over 15 or 20 bucks for a standard grease gun. If you've got a small tractor and you're not lubricating a lot of stuff and time is not really a concern, then any of these grease guns will work. And I'll post links down the video description to any of these grease guns in case you guys want to pick one up. My favorite grease gun is this guy right here uh, for manual grease pumping. I like to have the one handle so I can pump it one handed and I can put this on with one hand. Conversely, this one is a bit more of a pain in the butt. Now you can buy this elbow extension to put on any grease gun whatsoever, but I require two hands to pump this and I have to have it attached. So this is the one that I use for only one grease fitting on the entire farm, and that's the center grease fitting on the Ventrac. My wife will have to pump while I hold it on because it's a very difficult grease fitting to get to. And I'm sure if you guys have worked with any equipment, you know that there are difficult grease fittings to get to. Most of the time, those fittings get neglected, and that is where the point of failure is. So lubricating your equipment is what makes it last. It's just what makes it last. So what I wanna do today, is talk to you about this. This is 141 bucks on Amazon. There's a link down in the video description for you. I'm gonna to talk to you about how it works. There is a blow off valve right here. So the way it works, and we're gonna get grease on us. It's gonna be fun. The way it works is you've got a locking mechanism right here and you can press that to unlock it. So if it's locked and you pull the trigger, you're not gonna hurt it. So you can toss it in the toolbox of your pickup truck. This gave me an excuse to clean all these grease guns because inevitably these things are absolutely covered with grease all the time so you have it locked it's in the back of your truck pop it out take the lock off turn that off right there and you can squeeze the trigger and it's a high flow grease gun in other words it's going to send out pumps and pumps and pumps of grease so you got a little grease cap on there you pop the cap off you pull the trigger and out comes the grease you see how much grease is coming out right there that's a lot of grease we're going to be using some towels today Inside this grease gun is a little bit different than a standard grease gun. It has a filter inside of it. We'll talk about that a little bit. So in order to load the grease gun, you basically twist this entire cylinder. You take it off just like so. Let's see if we can make a mess. 
All right. Inside here is the cylinder of grease. Very simple. Whoop. <laughs> and the cylinder of grease is popping out. So there's your grease cylinder and you have a spring-loaded device right inside here. If this were empty, then we wouldn't really need to worry about that spring-loaded device. So, pull this back. There's a notch right here that locks into place and your grease will slide right down into this tube. That's how you install it. And you put it right back on the machine, just like so. This is indexed and it fits right into a slot right in there. So it slides in place. That little piece goes down in there. You twist it down. Tighten it back up. And this is basically how you load any grease gun. But you tighten that back up fairly loosely. You don't want it really, really tight. And then we'll release this piece, give it a twist or two, and press it down in there. Then we're ready to rock and roll with grease. Now, if you have to burp it for air, there's a little twist right here. And you just twist that back and burp the air out of it. No big deal. If you hit a blockage, this will pump grease out. In other words, if I hold my finger down on this, this should pump grease out. I can't hold it back. It's, it's so powerful, I can't hold it back. Yeah, it's just getting grease all over my hands. Trust me, I've gotten to a point where I pumped too much grease and this thing burped out grease. That's what it's designed for so that you're not damaging bearings and blowing out bearings. That's a pretty cool design factor. Inside here is a filter screen. The other grease guns, the manual grease guns, do not have a filter screen. One battery on this can sit in your truck for a month or so and not go dead and still be usable. I probably use one battery every two or three months or so on this. I keep a fresh battery on it as best I possibly can. So if I'm out there working, I can grease my equipment and I know I've always got a fresh battery. So what does the average Joe homeowner need to use? What does a guy with one little tractor need to use? What kind of equipment do you need to have? If it were me and I was average Joe homeowner, I might get something like this, the smaller grease gun. However, I wouldn't get one with a solid tube and I would try to find an elbow adapter so that I could get into those tight spaces. This solid tube right here restricts you on where you can use this. So in other words, if you have to get up under a mowing deck, this is very, very restrictive where these have the flexible tube and they'll fit right up into most holes. This tube is about 16 inches long. The one on the DeWalt, and the DeWalt still sitting behind me here, is 42 inches long. So very, very handy makes this a much more versatile tool. I can take this, hook it on the grease fitting way up in the tractor, squeeze the trigger, and I've got plenty of room right here. So let's show you the output, how much these grease guns put out when you pump them. The obvious, easiest, smallest one to use, we'll do two pumps here. One, two. Not a lot of grease going on right there. Now, next one we're gonna use is gonna be our large, pump handle. So we'll raise the handle up. And again, this one almost requires two hands to use, but we're going to pump out two squirts of grease with it. One, two, probably 10 times as much as this little guy. Now we'll set this to the side and we'll do two pumps on the grip type. We'll go one, two, so, which one pumps more grease? Obviously, this guy with the big old handle on it is gonna pump more grease. Now we're gonna use our DeWalt grease gun, and we'll show you how well controlled this is. So we pull the trigger, and we're just gonna let it flow. Right there. So much smoother, so much easier than having to fool with any kind of pump uh, grease fitting at all. And this is how fast it comes out. So the proof's in the pudding. This is the Mac Daddy for greasing your equipment. It just kind of depends on what your budget is and what you want to do. There is absolutely nothing wrong with any of these grease guns. This guy right here, a little bit on the cheesy side, much more work to pump grease into your machine. Uh, this guy right here, secondly, it pumps a lot of grease and sometimes that's not exactly what you want. You don't really want to be able to pump it twice and just get grease all over everywhere. You want to put the right amount of grease in and not make a mess and have to wipe all the grease off. So this one clearly puts out more per pump than any of the other ones, aside from just holding the trigger on the DeWalt. Now this guy right here, 
is my favorite. It's my go-to. It pumps just the right amount of grease. And I like this guy when I don't have my DeWalt power grease gun. Is it worth it? 25, 30 bucks ish versus 140 bucks. A lifetime tool, a lifetime tool. So it just depends on how much equipment and what your time is like. So my time is wasted working with one of these when I could pull up, lubricate in 30 seconds and roll on after I fuel up. I think the DeWalt grease gun is well worth the money. If you don't have a power grease gun, once you go power grease gun, you won't want to go back. Much like once you go zero turn on the lawnmower, you won't want to go back. So do I recommend? Yes. Is it worth it? It depends on whether it's worth it to you. Now you know how it works. Now you know how the tube is stored right here. You can put it in the back of your truck. You can put it in your toolbox and not worry about grease getting all over everywhere because you have this nice little cap. You don't have that nice little cap with all these. Do I recommend that anybody who owns a grease gun buy the elbow adapter attachment? Absolutely. And that's how this guy right here just pops right into a regular grease gun. Again, I'll post links down the video description. Just the tool without the battery, and this is a 20 volt lithium ion battery right here. Just the tool is around 140 bucks. There is a more expensive model out now. Do I think you need it? I don't know, it depends on what kind of tool guy you are. I'm a bit of a toolophile, but I've got what I need right here to get by here on the farm. So if you've got to lubricate a bulldozer, you definitely need this. If you're lubricating your lawnmower, you might want to get something like this. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on Tool Tuesday. By popular demand, we went on and we did a quick review and overview of this DeWalt. And this is the model G571 DeWalt battery powered grease gun. We'll catch you guys next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. I hope you enjoyed this Tool Tuesday episode and pick yourself up an awesome grease gun if you need it. If you don't need it, don't waste the money. All right, see you next time on the Stony Ridge. We'll Woo! come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife. One more quick and important tip. When storing your grease for your grease guns, always make sure that the cap end is down. It's not a good idea to let them get beat up like this, but sometimes you can't help it, but you want the cap end down. This pops off and you have exposure right to the grease, but you want the grease to be settled down in this tube. So when you put your new tube inside your grease gun, the grease is right up against the pumping apparatus inside your grease gun. So always store them like that. Cool? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. To spend the money to get a grease gun, anything that has a chain on it or an unlubricatable, even the big farm channels, grease.